kick is a beauty. And a one-handed lap. Play on says the up way, falls the right way. And has put it through. And that is a ripping goal. They're advancing on full forward. Delivery magnificent. Berg wants a goal. So does the Saints. Here's a chance now for the Saints. Good day and welcome to Saints TV. Well, got some special footage for you for the first time ever shown on one of the club shows. We're down the ruins. We just had a great win against Carlton. It's uh, got a little bit of a scare in the second quarter, but we managed to come over the top. Let's have a look at the game. Three minutes played, no score. Everett back to Jones, got space. That kick, not what he'd like. No, no. Equal. Handball off Baker. Eludes the tackler, left foot to the front of the square, low, Livingston there, low got on the run, handball back, can run on open goal, pack at St Kilda have got the first of the afternoon. The Good target specialist. The step up has got the class boots on, handball out wide, Lawrence, okay. an opportunity, five goals for Saints. In 17 minutes of footy, he is one of the more dynamic and unpredictables about this lovely game. Black linking play through the middle on his favoured left side. He lined it up at 50 and he rams it home for his second. We're down in the uh, St Kilda change rooms with club doctor Ian Stone. Stone, anything to come out of today injury-wise? Look, not a lot. I think uh, we're fairly fortunate. No serious injuries. Uh, Lowe's just hurt his knee, he just pinched the cartilage, probably the back of the knee, but he'll, he should be fine. Um, I think Laurie's just uh, cleared a bit of rust out of his brain after he was hit there on the boundary line. Yeah, and a good uh, knock. Look, it was, a, it was a good knock, yeah, it was a good knock. Um, I got out to him fairly quickly and he was pretty lucid when I got to him. In fact, I suggested I should take him off and he said, no, well, I want to keep the goal. Well, obviously, the way he kicked it, I probably should have taken him off and given it to Milne. But no, look, he, he'll be fine. He should come up OK. And what about Max Hudson, his first game back for, after five weeks out with a hamstring? Look, terrific effort, wasn't it, by Max, I thought, and certainly medically. Yeah, very uh, clean bit of bill of health, did very yep. well, and uh, no problems with the hamstring, so should be right next week to go again. OK, and we had a couple, couple of the guys go around with Springbell, Matty Capuano and uh, Jason Blake in his first game. Yeah, look, Blakey pulled up well, actually. Played half a game, uh, did well, and uh, got through that well. Pulled up OK, so we're looking at him playing probably a bit more footy next week and easing himself into it. So uh, he's, he's keen to go again next week, obviously. Well, there you go. All good news from the uh, medical room down here at St Kilda. Well, I'm now joined by Max Hudson. Max had a four-week break. Was it four or five? Six, mate. Six weeks. Jeez, time goes. We're having fun, don't it? Yeah. Mate, it was a sensational comeback. You did a great job strengthening our back line up. Who'd you play for most of the game, and how'd you, how'd you go, do you think? Um, oh, I'm not going to sit here and pump up my tyres, but... I'll do it for you, mate. He did very well. Um, I played on Vavola for the first quarter, Kuda Fides for the next two quarters, and then sort of McKernan and Hickmont in the last quarter. McKernan in the last 15 minutes or so, so... And what was the, the sort of talk and feel down the back line today? Yeah, it was pretty good. The guys um, were pretty positive all day, I suppose. It's a weird scenario in the second quarter when they were really coming hard. That you, I mean, the talk dropped off a bit, but... It was just a matter of getting our heads back up and sort of quelling their, their forward push that they were doing and we are right after that. So. And you got some pretty good news for all St Kilda supporters. You've just signed a new contract. Oh, yes, uh, another three years, so um, handy to be around. I love the Saints and I want to play the rest of my career out here, so that'll take me nearly to the end. Good on you, Max. I'm sure you'll be able to buy a few more houses with that too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. No well, well, I'm now joined by the property steward, Peter Madden. Mate, tell us what your role is during the day and what did you think of the win? 
Yeah, it was a great win, great win. Um, I rolled during the day, I get here pretty early in the morning and set everything up for you guys, don't I? And, uh, and it takes about two and a half hours to set everything up and when you guys arrive, it's all ready. And how long have you been doing that for the club? This is my fifth season, yeah. Five years, mate. Yeah, and what's your nickname? Uh, I'm not sure. What do you reckon it would be? Andrew? His nickname's Champ because he's a bloody little champion. Do you know how I got that nickname? <laughs> Tell us how you got that nickname. Uh, that was, that was, I think the Wakelands gave me that, didn't they? I think so. So a little bit of a tribute from the Wakelands. But uh, what do you think? The club's starting to head in the right direction? Oh yeah, look, all the young, young players made a huge difference. And I think, you know, with, the, with yourself and some of the, a sprinkle of the older players, I mean, we can only go forward and I think we're going to have a great future. Well, that's Peter Madden. He's uh, been around football for a very long time. His opinion is uh, usually pretty spot on. Thanks, mate. Thanks for joining us. Well, I'm now joined by two of the all-time greats of the St Kilda Football Club team of the century in Dark Dees. Uh, uh, Ex-captain and a current captain. Boys, how are you going? <laughs> is, that the, is that the best you got, mate? <laughs> Ex-captain, well, you know. And now current coach, but he'll be back next year, Berkey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done, mate. Harves, how's the shoulder operation go? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, uh, out in the day, so I was pretty happy with that, but it's a little bit sore at night, but um, yeah, not too bad. Now, you two were sitting in the box today? Yes. Well done, Berkey, thanks for that. And uh, what happened in there? Were they a bit tense in the second quarter? No. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Can you expand on that? Oh, yeah, well, look, no, look, uh, it got a little, a little bit tense here in the last five minutes. I kicked the last five, five goals in five minutes, which. Uh, Made the boys a little bit tense, but uh, it was good at halftime. They didn't change things around a lot. They just said, look, uh, you got beaten in that uh, second quarter, so put the same guys back in the same blokes and, and uh, do better in the second half, and all the blokes did, so that was why we won the game, I reckon. Pretty amazing, you actually can speak. G'day, mate, what's your name? Edward. You're pretty keen to be on Saints TV? Oh, yeah, but I go for Richmond. Uh, excellent, thanks, mate. Go away. <laughs> 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 Saints rule. Saints rule. Okay. Saints are really, really good. It was a really good win. Really good win. Now, uh, you reckon you'll be in the box the rest of you? Actually, I wasn't up there today, but um, off and on, I reckon. Off and on. Good, good win up there. Uh, boys, obviously, when I'm right up there today in the box, so I might give it a miss. <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough. All right, boys. Thanks for joining us. Well, I managed to catch up with Peter Spider Everett. Mate, we're starting to get a bit of a system going in the centre bounce. What do you reckon? Yeah, I've, uh, actually in the last quarter I was hoping that, uh, you know, I tapped it down to you, I was hoping for one of those left foot torpedoes again. But uh, unfortunately you went short to Sammy Hamill and you didn't get it. So uh, next time uh, maybe go along and have a shot. Yeah, I think I probably will too. Now uh, the second quarter, a bit of a disappointing for the team, but um, we managed to work back into it. Yeah, it was, you know, uh, unfortunately... Um, you know, probably they got the jump on us, and I think you know when a goal's got, when a team's got the run on, and uh, you know their voices in that lift, you do seem to drop a little bit. And uh, you know, realistically, the siren couldn't come quick enough. And when Hitmon kicked that last goal after the siren, it, uh, you know, from Carlton's point of view, it's always good to come in with a uh, with a goal under your belt. But uh, to the credit to the boys and uh, yourself and myself, we uh, well come, on, <laughs> we uh, you know come out after three quarter time, after half time, and uh, you know work really work through it and uh, come home with a good win. Now, can you tell us about the bid? Yeah, uh, I don't know, I'm just a bit bored, and uh, what do you reckon? Looks alright? Yeah, there's a whisper going around, you're going to keep growing it until you kick five. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna keep growing it until I kick five, so uh, let's hope Tomo puts me in the goal square soon and uh, I can get a couple of goals. There's not a footy team in Bali that needs a full forward, is there? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably Southport next year. <laughs> alright, mate, thanks for joining us. Well, now joined by Stuart Lowe, along with Berkey and Haas, legend of the club and team of the century in Duck D. Mate, your leadership out there was sensational today. You really stood up, especially in that third quarter. What do you reckon? I oh, appreciate that, Tom. Yours wasn't too bad either. Uh, no, look, I think um, full credit to, to everyone out there. Um, we talked about not having any passengers, and I really felt um, throughout the course of the game, um, everyone just on, jumped on board, and uh, even the young kids coming off the bench, i.e. James Bigley and, and uh, Cal Lewis and Wolfie, they all stepped up and, and really gave us something in that last quarter, which is what we, what we demanded, really. Now, you've got six games to go. You're enjoying them? I certainly am, Tomo, and uh, yeah, that's that's been one of my goals, just to just to enjoy the uh, you know the, the finale of, of the career. And uh, I must admit, as it's getting closer, it's, uh, it's starting to um, yeah, really dawn on me that shit, this is going to be the end of it. Now, uh, from your experience, you really reckon the, the club's going the right direction? Just uh, while we've got the camera here, Kevy, this is the lolly boy. <laughs> Kevy, say good day. Everyone, say to me. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Tell us what your role is during the day. I just do the drinks and do all the lollies and they cover high rates. Whenever you want me, I, I'm here. Good right, yeah, there's a little Kevy there. Now, mate, yeah, the club going in the right direction? Oh, no doubt, no doubt, Tomo. I think um, 
We'll get, we've been up and down throughout the year. We've had a couple of real fun things, but um, you know, that goes with the territory with playing so many kids. And uh, as the year will pan on, and I think for the first time we've probably got our uh, most settled and, and best back half and forward half. Um, obviously, we love you know, halves and Berkey in the midfield, but um, yeah, I, I think you know we're going to have a great run home and uh, really knock off some quality opposition. And uh, you know, the club will be you know, in good shape for next year. Well, it's time now for Tomo's Player of the Day, and it was the start of the last quarter, and the thing that we really needed was a goal straight off the bat, and it was Stephen Lawrence, just an outstanding goal. He was in the left forward pocket, and he managed to do a sort of right foot, I don't know, banana, um, check side kick, and he managed to go through for a goal. It was a sensational goal. Let's have a look at it. McKernan one out in the square at the other end. Off hands. Lawrence, an opportunity. He's made it. Kicked his third goal. An unlikely third goal to Lawrence. The St Kilda Football Club annual banquet auction and this year it is being held at the Crown Palladium Ballroom. Uh, it's $110. It is on Friday the 26th of July and can I just say that is a great price, $110 for a three course dinner and beverages. Uh, so you need to RSVP by the 19th of July and the contact is Belinda Borey and her phone number is 9559-6673. You can also fax her or email her as well and those addresses should be up on the screen now. Also coming up we've got the Christmas in July dinner which is being run by the Angels who are sensational supporters of the club. It's going to be held at the Victoria Club in the Rialto building compared by Mark Doran and also in attendance will be the senior coach and assistant coaches and life member and also sensational supporter Molly Meldrum. So to get onto that one you need to ring Kylie Jackson on 955 6688 and I'm sure it'll be a sensational night. Look, come in the stands. It's a boy. It's a man. It's Bob the Builder? No, it's Superman! So what you have to do is email us at superfan at foxfooty.com.au and that should be appearing on your screen now or write to us at Fox Footy Channel and tell us about your favourite memory and you will be in with a chance to be on our show. Right now, guys, just about finished with the show. Tell us what you thought of the game today. Oh, it was really good. good. Uh, you were really good on it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And what do you think? I think it was great. I thought they were going to lose for about two minutes, but, yeah, they did a great job. And what was your favourite goal, or who's your favourite player today? You. Probably Andrew. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> um, oh, you. <laughs> Can't think of anyone else. What about uh, Stephen Baker and Nick Rewalt? Pretty good players? Good, yeah. good, good. Oh, really good. good. Yeah. Well, guys, there's a couple of, uh, couple of opinions from some young supporters. And, um, well, that's all we've got time for on this week's episode. A little bit different. We came to you from the rooms just for a change, get an idea of what it's like when we do have a win. So next week it's uh, against Fremantle at uh, Optus Oval. So try and get along to it. Really would appreciate the support. And I'll see you next week on Saints TV. Go Saints! Go Saints! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.